And right now, here on KUCI's Crossroads Boulevard, we have the band Head Noise. All right. Hey, this is uh, this is Robert, and uh, I'm gonna introduce the band. It's Edie on uh, lead vocals. Hi. Casey on drums. Hello. And uh, Sid on guitar. He's tuning. And uh, this next song we're gonna play, it's called uh, "Heads Like Humans," and uh, it's a, it's a really kind of a trippy song. We got it from the uh, chapter six of the book of Revelations in the Bible, and uh, it talks about how uh, it says that there's gonna be a time of a judgment, and and there's gonna be great earthquakes, and and all this really crazy stuff that you read about in the Bible that a lot of people just kind of um, think it's some kind of weird like horror story or something, but it's it's actually very true. And it, it, what it is, it's a prophecy about what's to come. And it says that the people are going to hide in mountains and caves, and they're going to cry out to these big rocks to fall on them and kill them because they're so afraid of the wrath of, of God. And, and um, we were thinking, man, that's really scary. We didn't want to be in that position. So we just figured, you know what? We'll get to go know God right now. And that way we won't have to be there. So here we go. This song's called uh, Heads Like Humans. <coughs> This next song's called Rush Hour on uh, Skid Row. And if you've ever been down the Skid Row, uh, you know nothing's going fast. And uh, that's kind of the way our problems seem when we're, uh, when we're cruising through our day. It seems like everything's just attacking us and the, the world's getting us down. But when we take it and we bring it before God, it, uh, it seems to be really quite small. And that's where we need to take all of our problems uh, before him. We kind of had this, uh, this uh, country kind of uh, hokey uh, beginning. And um, it was just sort of made it kind of silly, kind of the way our problems seem to be. Just sort of silly when we, after we look at them later on, we go, man, that was, that was ridiculous. But um, here we go. But we don't share this country. <laughs> no, we love country. Keep it 
there they are, Head Noise on KECI's Crossroads Boulevard. They're going to be coming in and talking to us for a little bit. So stay tuned for that. Right now in studio, we have the guys and lady from <coughs> Head Noise. You guys want to go ahead and go around the room, introduce yourselves and what you guys play and that good stuff? Uh, Get right up on that mic. Hey, I'm Sid. I play guitar. I'm Casey. I'm a drummer. I'm Robert, and I play the bass. Hi, I'm Edie. Mm. I'm Edie. <laughs> Edie. And I sing, or scream, or whatever you call it. <laughs> All right. How long have you guys been around? What do you say, about four, five uh, years? No, about four and a half years. Four years, seven months, and three days. Exactly. <laughs> I've been in the band for like three months or something. Yeah. Yeah. Casey's the newest member of the band, and he's he's been in for about three or four months, I suppose. Since May. Since May, probably, yeah. Yeah, it's like six months. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Very cool. Um, how do you think that um, the fans, when you guys go out there and play the shows, how do you think they respond to music as well as the message that you guys bring along with your music? How has it been so far? Well, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's kind of weird. Um <laughs> Oh, closer, closer. There you go. Hello, is this okay? Um, it's kind of weird. I guess we're, uh, we, uh, our musical influences uh, are pretty much the same kind of stuff, I guess, that most everybody else is, uh, except that I guess we were kind of around when they were playing. Uh, well, most of us were. Kate, you know, but uh, Casey's the youngin'. Okay. But uh, actually, it's more of a bag on us because we're like old. <laughs> we're, we're, we're old and, and decrepit, but. No, um, we, uh, I think our style's a little, just a little different, just because um, the different backgrounds we've come from, musical backgrounds and stuff like that, yeah. and uh, it, the, you know, people respond well to it, and it's not just like, you know, oh, the fans, you know, respond, it's, you know, the, the people we hang out with, because everyone that, that comes to see us, you know, we try and get to know, we, we don't want it to be like, oh, it's us and them, you know, we're up on stage and they're down there, but we want to... Mm -hmm. You know, we're all we're all the same people. You know, bands come to see us. We go to see bands. You know, and it's not like there shouldn't be any kind of like level there. Um, we just we just desire to 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 play music that's going to minister to people and whatever. And I mean, basically, when you get down to brass tacks, is that the music is just a platform. You know, it's it's just a dish that you that you put food on, and the food is is the gospel of, of uh, Jesus Christ. You know that. You know, that he's, it's the good news. And that's all we're about. You know, we can be, you know, we could be like, you know, ska or polka or, you know, like, you know, a big band, <laughs> doo-wop or, you know, shoop doo Whatever it is, you know, we can do, you know, anything. And, and if it's appealing, that's cool. You know, and we desire to make, you know, we try to make decent music. You know, we, we try. <laughs> and, uh, you know, people respond well to it. And that's that's really pleasing to us just because, then they can hear what what the Bible has to say, and whether it's by music, whether it's by just you know talking with people at our works or talking to people that we meet at Seven Eleven, or just you know at a stoplight, whatever it is. However, we can relay and convey the message of uh, of salvation through through the blood of Jesus. Man, that's that's what it, we're all about. Cool. Basically, we want to um, try to build relationships with um, with most of the people the shows and and a lot of times uh, you know people are kind of surprised that you know you're, you're sort of like a real people we, we want to be as real as possible um, we we would sure we'd love to have like you know big recording uh, uh, contracts and all that stuff but you know I don't know there's there's a lot to be said about that um, but w you know we like a, we would like to do those things and tour full time and all that stuff but we're more interested uh, in the youth and the people that come to the shows and building relationships with them and sharing with them the good things that God's done in our lives and so uh, we have a lot of good friends we've met a lot of a lot of people and uh, you know a, a lot of the kids are really beat up on whether you're a Christian or not you know the world really it really beats up on you and it really tells you a lot of lies and and a lot of people just don't understand, and uh, we just a lot of time we we just want to sit there. We just want to listen because people just need someone to listen to, uh, someone to talk to, and and uh, we'll do that and we'll pray with them. And so uh, a lot of the people that come uh, are really excited uh, just about the gospel being preached because they don't hear it and at the shows. And a lot of times it's really watered down, and and uh, we don't have any kind of like you know sermon set up or anything like that. Um, we're just really just a bunch of outcasts. We've 
we don't really we never really fit in really anywhere and uh you know so god accepts us you know no one in the world no one in the universe has time for us but god does and that's really what we're letting people know is that we're just a bunch of outcasts and, and, and just a bunch of misfits that have found hope in God. And that's really what we're trying to share. And, and believe it or not, a lot of people just don't know that. They just don't know that God loves them just the way they are, where they are with all their addictions and their problems and all that stuff. And so I guess in answer to your question, it, it's pretty well received. Even a lot of the um, secular uh, punk bands that would play at the Roxy or someplace like that, and they like it because it sounds a lot like the 80s stuff that, that we grew up with. Cool. Very cool. 